Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the third offering from Zero Gravity Yo-Yos. This is the Basilisk. Whew. Let's get into the Basilisk. like uh there's been a lot of fun names of yo-yos coming out lately and the basilisk it's one of those ones that just kind of flows off the tongue it's a nice word it's a fun fun word interesting animal too all right this is what they look like yeah really interesting right uh so this is like i said in the introduction uh this is the third offering from zero gravity i've reviewed their first two yo-yos so you can go back and look at those what i appreciate about zero gravity is they have a very deliberate approach, it seems like, to yo-yo. All of their designs uh, and their shapes are very straightforward shapes. So here is no exception. You can tell what shape this is. They're not really experimenting a ton. Uh, it's a straightforward V-shape yo-yo. Now it is one of the larger V-shape yo-yos I've messed with as far as that gap. Um, it kind of just reminds me a little bit of the uh, Spy Pro. Do you remember that yo-yo from way back? I have, I had one of those. That was a great yo-yo. Um, and uh, that, that's a good thing. Um, I've been thinking about Spy a lot lately. Uh, I had quite a few of their yo-yos and I kind of wish that, hindsight, right, is 2020. I uh, kind of wish I still had some. I don't own any of them anymore. But anyways, it does remind me just that, that flared out, like dramatic V-shape reminds me of that. It also has, uh, like the other two previous models, it has a finger spin dimple in the center. It has a decent amount, like a really chunky amount of rim weight as well. So with the width of that and the diameter and the, the beefiness on the rims, you can kind of just assume that this is going to be a fairly stable and long spinning yo-yo. I like that colorway too. Reminds me of something I had on a showgirl that I had from wherever ago. Um, I also appreciate that their yo-yos are really budget friendly um, while not compromising on quality. Uh, their packaging is the same too. We have these like, little wooden stacks. I'll show you another picture here of that. Uh, and so really nice and secure, but just nice, you know, so that when it's shipping, you know, uh, since it, it, they are from Canada, they're probably gonna be shipping a lot to other countries. Uh, and so it's nice to know that your yo-yo is coming secure. Engravings, just like the other ones had, it has the uh, zero gravity. Let me pull it in close here. So it has the zero gravity, um, and that is a registered trademark as well. Uh, and then it has the basilisk um, little logo for this one. And it kind of, you know, the, uh, the leg of the basilisk forms the L. Simple branding, but enough that like, you know, they're trying to make a name for themselves amongst uh, a very oversaturated, you know, community of yo-yos out there. And so it's, it's probably smart for them to brand. And uh, I'm not always a big fan of engravings, but when they are on there, um, minimal is good or something that's more design, uh, you know, worthy so that it's actually creating some kind of piece of art. So they found a nice balance with that, I think, um, and a good placement for that as well. All right. Like that looks good. Yeah. Let's go play it. See how it plays on the string. Um, all right. So first things first, um, one thing I've noticed with this, um, is that, uh, the gap's a little bit more performance based. And so I'm finding that having a little bit thicker string, uh, which Prestige string works really well, by the way, you're gonna get a little bit snappier binds. V-shape, you know, on a catch in the hand, uh, it's nice and wide, and the, the, you know, the rims are rounded off enough that I'm not really feeling like, I don't know, like some V-shapes are a little bit more aggressive as far as the, the hand feel, and so, you know, if you have a, 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 you know, a decent bind coming back at you, you know, hitting your hand, you may be kind of flinching a little bit, trying to catch it. Uh, I don't feel that way with this. It's very comfortable in the hand, whereas that man, that gap is huge. And so uh, it's going to be really um, a really good candidate for performance um, and even something like horizontal tricks. So. I am not good at horizontal and those aren't tricks I normally gravitate towards because I don't really enjoy doing them as much. 
Uh, but I tell you what, if I were to practice horizontal more, this would be the type of shape that I would be gravitating towards. So even if you miss that dimple, you know, the first time popping it up, it'll kind of slide a little bit in there if you just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. I'll see if I can show you that. See right there, popped right in there pretty easily. Just kind of held down. And once you hit it there, you can finger spin for quite a while. All right. Do you see that color spinning too, by the way? Let me show you that spinning. Um, you know, I don't show that too often with colorways like this, but you can kind of see, it's probably gonna show off a little bit differently on camera with the, the speed I'm shoot, filming at, but uh, it blends really nice. Uh, it kind of has like a, from my, from my, you know, from my eye perspective, it has like a reddish purplish almost hue to it. So sometimes, you know, spinning, you know, yo's, I mean, it looks really good in stills, but when it's spinning, it doesn't always look very pretty. Uh, this one looks just fine. Yeah, gap is like very, very performance. On a grind, all day, all day. Really nice shape for that. And it's just super, super stable. Very, very capable yo-yo. I think as far as what they have offered so far, this would be the one to gravitate towards if you're wanting a very competition performance based yo-yo that's gonna hit pretty much everything that I can think of. The only, the only thing it really doesn't have perfectly on it is a decent IRG because the bowls are a little bit shallow for that. And you'd have to kind of pop it, you know, to the side maybe. See, it's, it's kind of popping out a little bit too, too much. But if I tilt it, yeah, you can do a thumb grind. You know, what's nice about living in this era of yo-yos too is you can get a budget yo-yo like this that is dead smooth. I mean, this is perfectly A-grade smooth. Can you guess what trick will be next month's remix trick uh, based on that little trick I just did? Anyways, that's your hint, okay? Uh, so we've had some great entries, by the way, for this February's uh, Cold Fusion remix. So if you don't know much about that and this is the first time you're hearing about that, I'll have a link in the description uh, where you can check that out and where you can post on the Yo-Yo Expert Forum. It's a great contest and everyone who enters has a chance to win. All right, that's the Basilisk from Zero Gravity. Man, I think this might be my favorite one from them so far. I really like the simple but very capable design of it. And it ticks off all those boxes as far as a high performance yo-yo that is going to be very, very performance capable. All right, so that is, again, the Basilisk from Zero Gravity. Until the next one, later. Mm -hmm.